How to become an Atlassian expert? In this video, we are going to discuss who is an Atlassian expert? What tools do you need to learn to become an Atlassian expert? We'll take a look at some of the skills you need to acquire and we'll also discuss how to begin your learning. And finally, we'll spend some time talking about the resources to learn Atlassian skills. Actually, a lot of people ask me this question that I want to learn Jira, I want to learn Confluence and uh, whether I really need to spend time uh, learning these tools. So I just want to start by sharing this uh, news that I am reading right now. So it says that uh, the Atlassian shares have increased by 10%. If uh, you hear news like 10% uh, increase in uh, shares of a specific company, it means that that company is definitely doing really good. So when you talk about company like Atlassian, they are doing actually quite well for the past few years. And the reason is very simple. They have great products and a lot of companies, a lot of organizations, in fact, uh, enterprise organizations, they are now moving towards uh, Atlassian tools. And that is why there is a huge demand of uh, Atlassian experts in uh, the market. Now, first of all, we need to understand who is an Atlassian expert. Well, an Atlassian expert is someone who is able to deploy, configure, customize and maintain Atlassian tools. So what tools are we talking about? If you go to the Atlassian website, you have plenty of tools to take a look at, but we need to focus on few important tools. Of course, all the tools are important, but if you're good in tools like Jira Core, Jira Software and Jira Service Desk, then that is a very good start. Jira is of course one of the most important tool from Atlassian. If you know how to work on Jira, if you know how to customize Jira, then uh, that is uh, the key skill that you need to have to call, your, to call yourself as an Atlassian expert. Of course, depending upon the requirement, you would be using either Jira Core or Jira Software or maybe Jira Service Desk. But uh, if you talk about the customization aspect of these tools, the customization aspects are more or less similar in uh, all the three tools. So apart from Jira, you also have tools like Confluence, which is uh, a tool for online collaboration and you can use Confluence uh, for, uh, for knowledge base and it has a lot of different uh, implementations and it can also be used along with uh, Jira. So you need to know how to work on Jira and you also need to learn how to use Confluence along with uh, tools like Jira. Then apart from Jira and Confluence, there are tools like uh, Bitbucket, which is nothing but uh, a Git repository manager. And uh, you don't need to know each and everything about uh, Git, but if you know how to configure this tool and how to integrate Bitbucket with other tools like Jira and Confluence, then that is a very good start. And in the last, uh, I want to mention Bamboo. Bamboo is also a very popular tool from Atlassian. It is used for uh, continuous integration and uh, continuous uh, delivery. So in case uh, you're working for a company or maybe if you are working as a consultant for a, for a company where they need to uh, use DevOps practices, then these tools will definitely help them. And uh, if you want to become an, an Atlassian expert, you're expected to at least have a decent understanding of these uh, tools uh, to begin your Atlassian uh, journey. So apart from uh, the tools that you need to learn, what skills do you need to learn? So there are different type of uh, skills that you can acquire if you start working on these tools. So let us now go through these uh, skills uh, in a bit more details. So first of all, we need to learn how to use the tool as a user. So first of all, you need to understand the basics of the tool. For example, if you talk about tools like Jira, you should be able to use the tool for your day-to-day -day activities. You should be able to work on a project. You should know how to take a look at the reports and how to search different uh, issues or tickets in your instance of Jira. And you should also be able to work on the tickets or issues assigned to you. Then you also need to learn how to customize the tool. When we talk about the customization, it is one of the most important feature of uh, tools like Jira and Confluence. 
The best thing about Jira is that it can also be used for different use cases and uh, you need to know how to administer the tool. The administration of the tool is also very important and uh, you should be familiar with uh, both the server and cloud version of uh, tools like Jira, Confluence and also Bitbucket. And uh, finally, you need to understand the uh, use cases that can be implemented. For example, Jira can be used for test management. Jira can also be used for service test. And a lot of people use Jira for software development. However, when you install Jira for, a, for the very first time, you should be able to use it from day one because when you create a new project in Jira, there is a template that you, you can use to kickstart your, uh, your journey of, uh, of Jira or maybe some other tools, but you should be able to customize it further because uh, when you start using the tool, you may want to modify the workflow. Maybe you want to add a new custom field or maybe you want to change the behavior of the tool. But if you know how these different use cases can be implemented with the help of the power of customization, then uh, you will uh, learn how to control the tool for your own requirements. And uh, one of the most important aspect uh, of uh, Atlassian consultant or an Atlassian expert is also the familiarity of uh, various development methodologies. So when you're working on tools like Jira and Confluence, it is not just about the tool itself, it is also about uh, uh, how these methodologies work. So if you know a bit of agile practices, if you know the software development lifecycle, if you know how the processes are are implemented in the companies, maybe with a different tool, then that knowledge is of course uh, very important. And uh, when you have uh, the knowledge of customization of the tool, you can use those uh, uh, processes, you can actually map those processes in the tool. So if you are familiar with these methodologies, then that is always a plus point. So what else? So once you have done customizations, once you have done uh, the implementation of various use cases, there are other things that you can also do with uh, tools like uh, Jira. You can always uh, learn how to use different apps or different add-ons. When we install Jira for the very first time or when we install tools like uh, Confluence, then you should be able to use them from day one. But uh, there are some additional features that can also be added in the tool with the help of these apps or add-ons. So there is a marketplace. And if you go to the marketplace, you can find the list of uh, thousands of add-ons based on different requirements. So you should be familiar with, uh, with at least uh, some of the most popular apps. For example, if you want to do test management, there are tools, there are apps like X-Ray or Zephyr. If you want to use uh, Jira for time tracking, there are tools like Tempo. So there are different, different tools or different apps. They are nothing but add-ons or plugins that you can install on top of your uh, Jira or Confluence instance to bring in more features. So you should be familiar with those uh, additional add-ons. And also you need to learn how to integrate your tools with other tools. For example, if you are using Jira, Jira can also be integrated with Confluence. Confluence can also be integrated with Jira. However, uh, apart from integrating Atlassian tools, you can also integrate your Atlassian tools uh, with other non-Atlassian tools. So you should be able to do this integration. So of course, when we talk about the integration, it can be done with the help of an add-on or maybe it is just a matter of uh, uh, just providing the URL and doing some configuration. So most of the things can be done from the UI, but uh, you're expected to know how these integrations will work. And also there is a very popular add-on called Script Runner. In Jira, if you know how to use Script Runner, you can actually do a lot of things. If you talk about the customizations, if you talk about the administration activities, you can use uh, this particular add-on in uh, Jira and also in Confluence to, to actually make your instance more powerful. So this is, this is something that I would highly recommend that if you are looking forward to become an Atlassian expert, if you want to become an Atlassian consultant, then uh, knowledge of uh, these apps 
especially script chrono is uh, very important. And finally, if you have some development background, then you can also learn the Atlassian add-on development. So these add-ons or these apps that you can find on the marketplace, these are developed by the vendors or different par different partners. But you can also learn how to create an add-on and how to enhance your uh, your Jira features or maybe your confidence uh, functionality. Then I want to discuss how to begin your learning. So first of all, you you need to start by evaluating different Atlassian products. What you can do, you can start with uh, Jira, of course, and then you can also start with uh, maybe Confluence and Bitbucket. You can create your free evaluation account on Atlassian Cloud. That will actually work for uh, for one week at least, but you can uh, extend it if you want. So get familiar with the tool, sign up for the free evaluation, and uh, once you have done the free evaluation on the cloud version, then you can also download the server version on your computer. In fact, you can start your cloud evaluation after watching this video. Just uh, go to the Atlassian website and uh, create a new account. And uh, within a within few minutes, you will have your instance of Jira up and running. So you can actually start uh, using it or evaluating it. But once you're familiar with the cloud version, you can also look at the server version that you can download and that you need to install on your computer or maybe on your server, which is hosted by you. And uh, what I would recommend is that instead of doing uh, the evaluation, try to use the tools for your day to day work. So if you decide to purchase maybe Jira, you can actually pur purchase Jira or Confluence for uh, $10, uh, which is like a very cheap amount to pay for this great software. You can actually pay for it if you want and start using it for your day to day work, maybe in your company or maybe within your team. And when you start using these tools, you can also start by migrating data from your existing tool. So these tools support the migration. You can actually uh, input your old data in variety of format. One of the most uh, simple or, uh, or easiest way to migrate data into Jira is using CSV import. So I recommend doing the do, doing the migration is very important because when you do the migration, you will end up customizing and you will end up learning the tool a lot. So try the migration of your data from, from your current tool and uh, learn how to make it work for you. And also do a proof of concept for your team. So once you have done the migration, maybe you want to ask your team members to please uh, take a look at uh, the new tool called Jira Confluence or maybe Bitbucket and then evaluate it within your team for a few months. And uh, uh, this is how you will actually learn a lot. And the next thing that I want to discuss is the resources that you need to uh, look at to learn Atlassian skills. So the first resource, in my opinion, is the Atlassian documentation. If you go to the Atlassian documentation uh, website, which is called confluence.atlassian.com, you will be able to find the documentation of uh, of each and every Atlassian product. So I recommend that uh, once you have done your quick evaluation of uh, these tools, go to this link and start re reading the documentation. Of course, uh, uh, you're not expected to read the documentation by heart or don't really read uh, the whole documentation. But uh, if you go to this particular uh, website, you will be able to find the information you're looking for. And the next resource is the Atlassian community. So if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, you can go to this uh, Atlassian community called community.atlassian.com and you can ask your question. So on this community, you will find people or various experts helping you and uh, answering your, uh, your questions. And finally, if you want, you can also purchase uh, some books. I have uh, authored a couple of uh, Jira books which are uh, available in the market, you can actually purchase these books to learn a lot more about uh, tools like Jira, for example. And uh, I also have a few video courses where I have explained in a different format in a, in a, in a format of a video where you can actually watch those videos and you can actually follow the tutorials that uh, I have shown in those videos. So do uh, take a look at these books and these uh, these video courses. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, reach out to me.
you can uh, write a comment uh, in this video and uh, I will definitely respond back to you. Thank you very much.